Hello everyone, welcome to this new series in which we are going to learn Formic and how to use Formic to build forms in React without the tiers. So Formic is the very popular open source library which you can use in React to build dynamic forms in a very easy way. So without Formic, if you try to create forms, how would you do it? You would first create form and then you would attach separate states with each and every input values that you have in your form and then you will create on change function to update those values like whenever user enter any value in your form you would want to update the state that you have attached with your form values and then you would also want to create uh, let's say submit function you would also want to create uh, validations so there's a hell lot of code that you need to write when you're creating forms but when you're using formic it prevents you from doing that it prevents you from writing that a lot of code okay so using formic you can create forms you know by just writing very less code okay cool so in this video we will create a very simple registration form which will take three input boxes uh, one for name one for email and one for address uh, there will be one submit button so we will be using this uh, material ui for you know creating those input boxes which will look much you know good because it is uh, like a ui library that you can use in react it has some built-in components that you can use in react to you know make your ui look you know good better Okay, cool. So we will be using this uh, formic to create forms and material UI to make those forms better. Okay, cool. So first of all, open terminal and, you know, create a starter project of React. So you can type this command npx create react app and then you can give any name to your project. I'm giving it registration form. So, you know, just uh, type this command and run it on your terminal. It will create a react starter project for you. I have already executed this. Okay, as you can see, I've already executed this command and it has created uh, the starter project for me. You can open that after you have done, you know, running that command. You can open it in any code editor. I'm using VS Code. So after opening that project in any editor, start up the development server. You can start up the development server by running this uh, command in your terminal. You can write yarn start if you have yarn installed on your PC or you can also write uh, npm start to start the development server. Okay, so in my case, I've already executed this command and my development server is already up and running at this address. So right now we are having this starter project of React. So let's first of all clear everything that we have in AppJS. We will be doing everything from scratch, so don't worry. Okay, cool. Save it and first of all, we will uh, create one component in which we will keep our form. So let's give it name a registration dot js and let's create a functional component over here you can also type rsc and press tab so it will create automatically the functional component for you so it happened because of one extension which i have installed in vs code you can also download it if you want its name is react.js uh, code snippet yeah it's here you can install it and let's create functional component so first of all we will import a formic library Okay, okay. we haven't, you know, installed Formic. So first of all, you need to uh, install Formic. So you can install Formic by writing npm install Formic. Okay, I will be using yarn. So I will write yarn install Formic. Okay, along with Formic, I also want to install material UI. So I will write a material UI uh, slash go. Okay, cool. So it will take some time. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry, I have written a wrong command. It's yarn add, not install. Okay, so write yarn add at the rate uh, material UI uh, slash core. Okay, so enter and it will take some time to install both of these libraries, Formic and Material UI core. Okay, so as you can see, Formic and Material UI core both are installed properly. So now what we will do is uh, we will write import statement for uh, for formic so from formic what do we want to do we want to import the custom hook that formic provides so its name is uh, use formic okay so in formic we have two ways to create forms first is this uh, by using this custom hook and the second one is the formic wrapper which it provides its name is formic so there are two ways so we will discuss both of these ways don't worry so we haven't done one thing uh, let me remind you in material ui documentation you would see that after installing it we have to attach this uh, style sheet link of roboto font because uh, material ui is built internally on this roboto font 
cool so let's attach this in the index html file inside the head section okay save it now we will create our form so let's create our form inside this division you can write form and when it is submitted uh, we want to call some function okay so inside this form we will create one text field which we will obviously import from the material ui so we can also go to material ui and check it like how to add text field you can go to documentation you can go to components here you can see we have this um, text field so it's very simple to add text field that's it you just write text field you give it id label name whatever you want to give it so let's give a uh, label so our first text field will be related to name we will enter name in it and okay we, it will have some value it will have some name okay and when it is changed we want to update the state so let's see how formic helps in updating the state okay cool so as you can see we have imported this custom hook let's see how to use this so first of all let's create one variable let's give it name formic you can give it any name so we will use this uh, use formic hook inside this we provide an object and inside this object we will provide the configuration for our form so for our form what do we need we need three text field so that means we need three states so we give states inside initial values uh, property so write initial values colon and inside it we will provide one object which will contain our states so first state will be name initially it will be empty and second will be email initially it will be also empty and then address initially it will be also empty and the second thing that we want to provide for our form will be like when it's submitted like what do we want to do so write on submit and inside this we will create one function which will have access to the form values object okay that will be the object so you can give it any name i'm giving it values so we want uh, to right now when we submit the form we will just show the alert box you can do whatever you want to do with those form values after submitting the form so right now i'm just uh, you know alert showing the alert so write json.stringify and then values object null comma two okay cool save it and now how to use this uh, you know configuration in our form so it is very simple so we want to attach uh, this uh, states to our text field how will we do it so for our first text field we have the name so we want to attach the name state with our first text field so how would we do it we can directly access it by writing formic uh, which is the name of our this you know object in which we have used the custom hook so this custom hook will return one object to this variable and in that object we we have so many values that we can use in our form so for our first text field how can we uh, like attach the state to this uh, text field we can directly access it by writing formic dot values dot uh, name cool and in this name we want we should give the same name that we have given to the state okay because formic internally it uses this name property to update the state so it should be exactly same with this okay cool so you should give exactly same value over here name okay cool and on change inside it you can give uh, the you know function on change function you can also access it using formic so you can write formic dot its name will be handle change cool save it and you know when form is submitted we want to you know submit the uh, we want to you know have this functionality which we have created over here like when the form is submitted we want to show alert so you can also access it using formic you can write formic dot handle submit cool uh, let's also uh, create another text field uh, let's copy it and let's paste it two times because we are going to have three fields in our form second will be for the uh, email uh, let's also change the uh, value property here email uh, here also it should be same you know with this okay cool and this one will be for the address this one will also be will uh, will be for address same here cool as you can see it's very simple you know you haven't created 
you know any states or anything like that you have created a very simple configuration for your form in the custom hook and you can directly access it you know by using this object which it uh, has returned in this variable okay cool uh, now let's also create one button uh, to submit the form so you can write division and inside this we will create one button which we will import from uh, material UI so it will contain a variant property which will be contained you can also check it out in you know documentation color will be primary cool so inside this uh, let's write summit type will be summit okay save it and uh, let's give some uh, like okay let me check we haven't imported a uh, text field and button from the react step uh, sorry material ui library so you can write import from at the rate material ui core so from here we want to import a button and text field okay cool now save it and let's import this registration form in our app js so that we can take a look in browser how it is looking so let's write a registration for oh, registration is enough you can write import uh, registration from uh, registration okay cool now save it and let's see how it is looking uh, in browser okay wait uh, server is compiling our code uh, wait for some time sometimes it takes you know time to get compiled in VS code you know in my laptop it sometimes lags too much okay so yeah now it is compiled and as you can see we have got a you know decent form but spacing is very less so let's give some spacing to this form so what you can do is you can you know give some uh, custom style to it let's give some margin top 15 pixels uh, let's give same styling to each division paste it over here paste it over here and also to the button division yeah save it and okay it is giving us some error what it is saying is it because of spacing okay we have written the uh, styling in the wrong division you know in the closing tag which we shouldn't do obviously yeah now save it and let's see how it is looking now in the browser okay cool yeah as you can see now our form is looking pretty decent now and as you can see we have this cool animation also which you know is being provided by this material ui which is very cool library okay so right now when we submit our form we will see you know those values that we have created in the configuration right now it will be empty because we haven't filled anything so when you enter anything let's you know write something and when you submit it you will see all those values will be populated you know in the alert box you know it is cool so in this way you can create form using formic in a very easy way so as you can see we have written very less code and you know first of all we used this custom hook we provide the configuration of our form so for our form we need these three values and we need one you know function like when the form is submitted what do we want to do with those values that's it and how to access it you just write formic dot okay whatever you want to access it like uh, in formic uh, like for on submit we have handle submit and for on change we have handle submit okay on is replaced by handle okay as you can see in on change we have handle change okay similarly it has also one more thing like on blur in that you can also access uh, formic dot handle blur so okay so as you can see uh, function naming is quite similar you know on is replaced with handle okay cool so in this way you can access uh, you know configuration from formic and you can create forms in a very easy way so i hope you understood how to create forms using uh, you know formic so in the next video we will see how you can create form using this uh, formic wrapper it's very simple so see you in the next video and in the next video we will see how to add validation to this form right now we don't have any validation as you can see we are able to submit this form you know uh, let me uh, let me just you know remove this uh, let me remove all the values and you will see we will you know still be able to uh, submit the form which is not good so we will add some validation also 
and we will show some error messages like if the value is not filled we will show that it is required or you know it should be valid on all that cool so see you in the next video thank you